What's up, Team Carl here? It's been a few days. I've been fighting a cold and flu, and that tis the season, right? This is what happens when you put up a Christmas tree early. I told Ben, is we're getting penalized here. All jokes aside, guys, I feel better every day. I'm sure I don't look it, but I feel better. Friday, since men are huge babies, I fully admit this. My wife will second this, and all everybody watching will probably agree. There's no exaggeration either, ladies. An elephant was sitting on my head, a three-ton elephant, and a Mack truck blew through my body Friday morning. I got up. You know me. I'm always like, nah, screw it. Man up. Be tough. You're going to get up and get a shower, and you're going to go. Go to work. You're going to go do something. And I literally stood up, and my body was like, I don't think so, buddy. Sit back down. So I sat back down. I listened to my body for the first time in like four years because that's about, on average, how often I get sick. Maybe less. Knock on wood. It's inevitable. I have little kids that go to school. All their friends come to my house. I high five with these big, ugly bear paws, 100 plus people a day. And then, you know, you might not know you have something. And then I rub my eye, touch my nose, boom. Three days later, I'm sick. That's life, right? You won't hear a violin from me. I don't complain about menial stuff. And if I do, you should check me just like I would check you. Quick three minute spiel, cause I'm lonely and I have no one to talk to except my dog who sleeps all day. I didn't realize I'm not home like this all day. The dog just sleeps all day. I take him out a lot, but God almighty, he's living the dream. I've been giving him lots of snacks. He definitely put on some weight. I thought I was gonna, but honestly, I'm just not eating a lot because although I did tear up a pizza the other day, don't judge me. I, I'm not training. I'm not lifting weights. I'm not running. I'm not riding my bike. I'm not being crazy on a mountain. I told you, I'm, it's not a front at the gym. I am like this at home. My, I don't know how my wife married me. I just want to be going. Let's go. Let's do some. 8.45 p.m., no more talking to me. That's, that's the cutoff. From 4 a.m. to 8.45, you have my undivided attention. Although minus my little nap in there somewhere. But anyway, naps are good for you. So, guys, I feel better every day. I'm gung-ho. I think this is my body's way of saying, hey, chill. But let's dispel, a, let's talk about a couple of fun myths here. My mother told me I got sick, love you, mom, because I wear shorts all day. Well, I almost gave you a show there. I wear shorts all day. It's part of the reason I picked my career because she thinks when you get cold, I'm sure, how many of your mothers out there said, oh, if you get cold, you'll get sick? Mom, it ain't true. We love you, but it's BS. I'm sorry. She's going to call me, watch, after she sees this video. You get sick from picking up a virus or a bacteria. Exclamation point. Next sentence. To think you go outside and get cold and get sickness from cold air doesn't even make sense. The only argument you could make, because I know somebody's like, this dude's an idiot. I'm unsubscribing right now. Unfollow. He sucks anyway. He's ugly. Okay, do that, but hear me out first, and then unfollow me. You don't get sick from being cold. You get sick from picking up a virus or bacteria. You could argue that when you're real cold, your immune system drops. Then that cold virus, bacteria virus that you did pick up from somewhere could then make you sick. I was pretty run down after the Spartans, teams of four events. That's probably why I'm sick. Irrelevant. Play me a violin. Fine. Make fun of me all you want. Once every five years, pretty good. Pretty good odds here. Maybe twice. So, you don't get sick from being cold. Next thing. I don't get back pain. I noticed from laying horizontal so long, I was in my bed at some points for most of the day, up to get water and whatever, and then shower, come back to sleep. I was getting back pain. So, the more I read up on it, your, your discs and your spine, when you're horizontal are not being compressed. So they're actually gaining length from the, it's called imbibition, where nutrients go in and out of your spine after being compressed and decompressed. So when you lay horizontal overnight, when you wake up, you are taller in the morning than at night after you've walked around all day and have been being compressed. Pretty crazy. And it's true, look it up. So too much fluid in between the discs can actually give you pressure, which was giving me back pain, which is weird because I don't get back pain. But again, too much sleep is good. Too much sleep can be bad. Oranges are good. 60 oranges can give you diabetes. So 
it's relative, right? So it's not just white and black. Can't be like, that's good, that's bad. It depends. Even good things, too much of a good thing can be bad. Some ba A little bit of something bad can be good, you know? I actually tell people, some of my clients that are like weighing chicken and they don't look like they're fun to hang out with, I'm like, yo, you should go eat a Big Mac. And they're like, why would I eat a Big Mac? I'm like, because you might let loose a little, have a beer, and be a little more, you know, loose, fun. Who the hell wants to hang out with someone weighing chicken? I'm not hating, I know. If you're competing, I get it. Ha ha. I can't make fun of anyone. I should be weighing my chicken. I'm just saying. Loosen up a little. Have fun. The sun comes up, which even that's debatable. The earth is rotating. We're all moving through space together. The sun's here every day. It's been here for billions of years before you got here. You, me. And it's going to be here for about another 4 billion years after we're, our bones are dusty. Which leads me to my next spiel about appreciation. The reason I'm so, let's go, let's go, let's go. I've experienced not being able to go. I've had some bad injuries. I won't get into detail about them. Compound dislocation injuries. Elbow, calcaneus, etc. So between rehab and laying up within a cast for six, eight months at a time, I know what it's like to just sit around all day, and it sucks. It's a big reason why I open the gym. It's a big reason why I move a lot. But you just feel good when you move. Who feels bad after a good workout and a good meal? Nobody. Nobody. You just feel good. It's good for you. You feel better. The better you are, the better you are for everyone in your circle. So appreciation is a big thing in my book. And I'll leave you guys with this because I'm sure I've talked your ear off enough. One of my books back here, Factfulness. Well, that's weird because it's backwards. Got it. Among many other phenomenal books, hit me up. I can put some books in the link. But Factfulness, I believe it's that book. It talks about a quick story. Um, a mother in a small African tribe. Her children are crying every night because they're hungry. They have no food, no water. Facts, by the way. There's 8 billion people in the world. So I'm not comparing your problems to theirs or mine to someone else's because we all have shitty days and shitty issues going on. So it's not a competition who's worse and who's better. But this is real life, man. So this is perspective for you. This mother can't feed her children. There's no water and no food for her to give to her kids. To get their mind off it, she gives them bowls empty and tells the kids to, goes around the circle like, you know, you son, tell me what you're eating. And he you know, it's pizza, and he acts like he's eating pizza, and mm, that tastes good, thank you, mommy, and so on and so on. That's how she fights getting through days when there's no food and water for her kids. It's the same reason why when someone comes up and says, hey, my coffee's cold, or hey, you know, my tire blew. That sucks, but fix it, move on, you know? No need to complain about that, or minimally complain about that. Again, I'm not comparing, I'm not downplaying anyone else's issues. I'm just saying, when you look at the big picture, and have perspective. And if you know how limited, how few days we have on this beautiful earth, you probably wouldn't complain as much as you do. So, love you guys. Miss you. See you soon.